Evening and welcome to one and all to another edition, another episode of DXB today, but a very special, they're all special, but this one's really rather special uh, as we get into the mood of not just the written, but also the performed word. It's all about words here tonight. Why? Because over the course of the next few days, uh, the big focus down here will be on the world of literature, written literature, performed literature, poetry and more. It all comes to the UAE as the Emirates Lit Fest gets underway tonight. So what have we got in store? Fadis finds out what people are reading as the 16th annual Emirates Airline Festival of Literature kicks off. Yeah, staying with the theme of the Lit Fest, we speak to the authors of the new novel, Dubai is My Home. Plus, we've got R&B singer Fleur joining us right here in the studio. I feel that uh, the Literature Festival has been one of those things that I've just seen go get larger and larger and larger, year on year on year. It becomes more influential, more and more uh, authors coming to town. It really has had an impact. Absolutely. I think it's an integral part of the city and its identity. And I think it's such a beautiful festival for people of all ages. And yeah, I look forward to it every year. And for me personally, I like I get excited because I find Arabic books for the kids, which are not as easily accessible. And there there's always such a huge, diverse range. So I'm personally looking forward to that. Are you guys bookworms, by the way? You read? I've got to admit, I've never actually been to Emirates Lit Fest, but I'm hoping tonight's show will inspire me and I'm going to want to jump on the bandwagon and go and visit. But I am a bit of a bookworm. I do like reading. I wasn't going to expect I didn't I'm, I'm a biography kind of girl. Pamela <laughs> Anderson's biography, you know, like that's my <laughs> level there. Like, <laughs> I think that's one of the beauties of, of the Lit Fest is that they've always they've always had something for everybody. Literature festivals by their very nature can be quite intimidating. They can mm -hmm. be quite off-putting. A lot of people think, oh yeah, but you know, it's not my kind of books that are discussed. It's not, it, I wouldn't get it, I'd feel out of place, etc. But what the Emirates Lit Fest does, I think, is break through those barriers and boundaries. It's always done it since the mm. very beginning. The point that you make, you know, appeals to all different age groups. It's all different interests as well, from celebrity chefs bringing their latest book to town, to biographies, to fiction, to non-fiction, to poetry, performance and otherwise. And that's why I just think it's very, it's, 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 it's very inclusive uh, mm. in everything it does. So I would highly recommend that you get down to the venue. I'll it's find some nice well. picture books for myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah bring yourself down. <laughs> Absolutely not. And you know what? I think you're going to be really pleasantly surprised because this year they have a lot in store and we're obviously going to be finding out from our guest co-hosts. But it's, you know, I feel like the Lit Fest is getting younger and hipper every year. And they've added a few elements this year that I think are going to take, I don't know, the, the population by surprise. Definitely. The other thing it's done, I think, is is it had an impact in terms of. You know, I remember when it was first launched uh, many years ago, and obviously, uh, we will reflect on on the past shortly with regards to the impact it's had. But you know, one of the one of the sort of foundation or founding principles was to create a sort of grassroots environment for um, authors, for writers, aspiring authors, aspiring writers to really establish themselves here. And we've seen that. The Literature Festival has a whole host of success stories that it's brought to the fair uh, over recent years. So we'll talk about that a little bit more and hopefully find the stars of the future as well. Definitely. Well, to give us the DL, we have our co-host. So let's find out who it is. Hi, I'm Ahlam Baluki, CEO of the Emirates Literature Foundation, director of the Emirates Lit Fest, and I cannot wait to see you all at the studio. Alam is going to be joining us in just a little bit, but first, as the Emirates Literature Fest kicks off, we sent Fadis to the streets to find out what the people of Dubai are reading this season. Take a look. I'm here at one of the biggest culture hubs in Dubai. We're here at Al Sirkal Avenue, and I'm going to ask a few people what they're reading at the moment. So, what book are you reading at the moment? I am reading *Becoming Supernatural* by Joe Dispenza. Oh, what's it about? Basically, it's about like inner wellness, uh, centering, becoming aligned with your mind and body and your thoughts. So, when I was younger, I loved the His Dark Materials series, and I recently discovered that they have some prequel books. I can't believe that. I was very excited. So, *La Belle Sauvage* definitely one of my favorites. Which one? do you think is the best of the His Dark Materials trilogy? Uh, Golden Compass, I think, was the best one for me, although the movies ruined it. All right, you told me you like to read lots of different kinds of books. What genre do you think is underrated? Uh, I think the underrated genre is probably books about the sea and stuff and more like nice fun books rather than romance and like death novels and stuff. What's your favorite book about the sea? Uh, the Daughter of the Sea series. So you told me you actually run a book club. What, who's an author you'd love to meet, dead or alive? 
the area of self-help, I would love to meet uh, Umberto Maturana for his book, The Tree of Knowledge. It's a classical book. It teaches us how we acquire knowledge and why do we know what we know and what we don't know. Well, there are so many different type of books, but there is one that is key that is called Can't Hurt Me, which is uh, written by David Goggins. And David Goggins describes the story of his life and how he overcome challenges, how he overcame the challenges from his childhood throughout mindset. Doesn't matter what happens throughout your life and the circumstances that you go through, and then how you can, with the power of your mind, just really take the control of your life, of your challenges, and then just overcome and just do everything that you want to do and how you can achieve. I mean, the man is right now a Navy SEAL, he's ultra triathlon winner, he's, he's an amazing person. I'm going to need to read that, thank you so much. He is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Well, as it turns out, I'm definitely behind on my reading, so I hope you found a few stuff to add to your reading list. Big thanks to Faris for that, giving us a little idea, a little appetite of what people are reading out there on the streets of Dubai. Now, guest co-host today is none other than director of the biggest literary festival in the Middle East. Huge welcome to the studio, of course, to Atlan Baluka. How lovely to see you. Hey, first and foremost, A, how lovely to see you, but amazing that you've been able to give us some of your time on what must be the busiest time of the year for you. Yeah, but I always make time for you guys. So, Aww, so, so kind of you. Uh, you wear a number of hats, CEO of the Emirates Literature Foundation, which is the foundation which is in place to help promote all things literature throughout the year, 365 days a year. And then, of course, uh, for this week, for the next week or so, you are wearing the cap of director of the festival itself. Let's start with the festival, if we can, mm -hmm. and the impact it's had on the literary landscape here in the UAE. Uh, that's always helped by some big names, and I know you pride yourself on, uh, on drip-feeding some of those names on the, in the lead-up to the show. Give our viewers a little indication of who's in town for this year. Yeah, we've got some incredible names. Um, uh, one that I'm particularly uh, excited about is, is a talk that I'll be moderating with Baroness Floella Benjamin, who is an you know actress and um, well-known um, uh, sort of uh, activist for children all over the world, and she will be in conversation with the First Lady of Iceland. And um, you guys know that Iceland is actually one of the most advanced countries in the world when it comes to bridging the gender gap. And she's written a book about this uh, called The Secrets of the Sprakar, which is extraordinary women uh, in Iceland and how they've um, sort of um, how they're so ahead of, of women uh, uh, other parts of the world because of just laws that support them, society that supports them, and there's a lot to learn from uh, from her. So I'm really looking forward to that talk. Um, we've got a lot of fiction superstars. We've got Paul Lynch, who won the Booker Prize this yeah. year. He'll be coming. Uh, he's an Irish uh, author, very well known. We've got Bernadine Evaristo, who is the president of Royal Society of Authors in the UK. Um, Claudia Rankin, coming from the US, and she's one of the foremost voices in politics and uh, race. Uh, really excited to have her for the first time at the festival. And we've got a big nonfiction uh, business strand, fashion strand. So in the world of fashion, we've got Sophia Webster, who has the, the designer of the butterfly heel. I don't know if you guys uh, are familiar. I know the butterfly heel. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> We're talking uh, my language now. Yes, and, and uh, Francesca cartier Brickell, who is a direct descendant of the Cartier family, has written a book about uh, her family. We'll be talking about that. Um, in the world of business, we've got Tony Fadell, who's one of the creators of the iPod, and he over, oversaw a group of engineers that developed the iPod uh, at the time. Very excited to have him. Uh, in the world of uh, neuroscience, we've got uh, David Eagleman. So just some incredible... A, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. All, it's all in the, in the calendar. Oh, I know, it is. It is. And, it is. And, and there you go, on the front page, we've got our <laughs> lady of the hour over here. <laughs> now, Ahlem, now, one thing Tom and I were discussing is how you do cater to all the different audiences. Mm -hmm. It's always pleasantly surprising who you bump into at the Emirates Lit Fest. Now, one thing that I think is really impressive is how you guys are staying young and hip and mm -hmm. adapting the festival. You're, you're yeah. not afraid of change. So what are some of the things that are in store and how are you catering to younger audiences with, through them? Absolutely. I mean, young people are the heart of what we do. It's it's a huge focus for us because, you know, we're, we're thinking about the festival long term in the next 15 years and beyond. So uh, it's important that we are engaging young people in what they like to read. And um, so TikTok is a strategic partner of the festival this year. 
and obviously book talk is a huge hashtag on TikTok where there's billions and billions of videos about book reviews and book content on there so young people are actually choosing very different uh, genres of I didn't of expect books. that I was a hundred percent certain that you were gonna come today and say younger generations just aren't reading as much we got to pull them away from the oh, screens but they are they absolutely are reading they've just changed the concept of the traditional book club and are putting their content online for millions and billions of people to see and so TikTok and us have worked together on the TikTok Awards content creators have been creating content about books uh, the past a couple of weeks and we will be announcing the winners of the best book content uh, at the festival. This is the first time that the Book Talk Awards happening in the region. It's happened around the world in different parts uh, of the world, but uh, we're honored to have it at Litfest and it'll be our closing ceremony followed by uh, a beautiful concert by Rashid Al Naimi, who is uh, one of my favorite local stars. Um, but other than that, we've got a big family program for children of all ages. So definitely would recommend everybody go on the website, have a look. Um, we've got Litfest After Hours happening for the first time. And Amy's like, that's what I was going to ask I mean, that's you what I was going to ask you about. She, she yeah. saw it in here. She's like, there's an I was after like, hours? Yeah, that's, yes. normal. Yeah, that's like speaking Very to me. Cool. After Hours. Can you tell us a little bit about yes. what you can expect at Litfest After Hours? So Litfest After Hours is for four nights. We've got... We've got different programs uh, happening uh, on each night and it's sort of like when the formal talks during the day are, are done in the evening, we still have um, a, uh, this vibrant program happening outside by the waterfront where there's performers, there is um, sort of um, uh, talks and storytelling and games and everything from K-pop dancing to food to uh, music. So, so it's just going to be, uh, it's a new segment that we've uh, programmed that we're really, really excited about this year. So definitely recommend uh, everybody check it out. And I noticed that you have some local creators involved as well, as well as Zahra Lari, who's an incredible ice skater, yeah. whose you know, career I've been following for many years. How are you inviting you know, local personalities and younger personalities who are present here in the UAE into the program? It's so important because there's so many incredible stories in the region and um, they need to be told. You know, Zahra Lari uh, is, is publishing uh, her book uh, about uh, this amazing uh, figure skater from the region and so we're really excited to talk about that. We've got Mithaya Lil Ali who is a very well-known content She's creator amazing. talking about womanhood and she is such an incredible speaker and I think, you know, we have authors coming and guests coming from all over the world to our festival and it's really important that we have Emirati and local voices present so that people from around the world can come here and hear our stories as well and interact with um, some of these special stories so we're, we're really happy that we get to be that platform to uh, for open dialogue and introduce the UAE in a special way to to thought leaders from around the world because who knows they can include this narrative in their future books and um, it's, it's soft diplomacy at the end of the day and it all kicks off today guys yes. so <laughs> exciting to all our audiences watching make sure you go check it out thank you so much for giving us some insight into what we can expect at Emirates Lit Fest you're going to be staying with us throughout yes, this episode so stay there but now it's time for a break and after we're going to find out how literature can contribute to the creative economy of the country plus we've got authors of Dubai is my home right here in the studio so stay right here